Hello, my name is Lisa Kennedy Sheldon, and I'm a PhD prepared oncology nurse practitioner. I've been asked to talk to you today about lung cancer and the decision to participate in lung cancer screening. Lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer-related death in both men and women in the United States. Sadly, most lung cancers are not detected until the cancer is in a late stage because lung cancer in its early stages rarely has symptoms. Lung cancer screening can be offered to people who are at higher risk to help detect lung cancers in an earlier, curable stage. You're between the ages of 50 and 77 years. You have a history of smoking at least one pack of cigarettes a day for 20 years. And you're a current smoker or you stopped smoking in the last 15 years. Lung cancer screening is performed with low dose computer tomography or CAT scans using a very low dose of radiation. It only takes about five to 10 minutes and does not require intravenous dyes or contrast. Lung cancer screening is recommended every year until you are no longer considered to be high risk. As with every healthcare decision, including cancer screening tests, there are benefits and risks to consider. Let's begin with the benefits to early detection. First of all, when lung cancer is found at earlier stages, there are more treatment options. It may even be cured by surgery alone. While lung cancer screening is recommended once a year for high-risk people, if you develop symptoms of lung cancer, you should not wait. Talk with your healthcare providers. Symptoms of lung cancer may include a new cough that won't go away, or changes in chronic cough, coughing up blood, or weight loss without trying. Lung cancer screening is of most benefit to people who are at high risk and get their screening every year. For those individuals, the benefits of early lung cancer detection may outweigh the risks of the screening tests. There are other risk factors for lung cancers that are less common than the smoking risk factors. And these include a family history of lung cancer, exposure to asbestos or radon, and exposure to secondhand smoke. Certain lung diseases such as asthma and fibrosis may put you at higher risk for lung cancer. These factors may add to screening benefits and will be considered by your healthcare provider when deciding to recommend lung cancer screening. Between 80 and 90% of all lung cancers are caused by smoking tobacco products. It's strongly recommended you stop smoking if you currently smoke. If you've already quit, and maybe you're smoking again, don't worry, you can quit again. It's always the best decision for your health. If you decide to participate in lung cancer screening, an appointment can be made through our central booking department. The scan takes five to 10 minutes, no need to drink contrast or have an IV, and you'll have your results within a few days. Medicare Part B covers lung cancer screening once a year for high-risk individuals. Some coinsurance and deductibles are waived, and most Medicaid and private insurances will cover this service at no cost. If you have any questions, a representative from Central Booking will be able to assist you. We hope this information, along with your written decision guide, will assist you in making an informed choice about lung cancer screening. Please contact us at St. Joseph Hospital Cancer Center or talk with your primary care provider with additional questions or concerns.